the Wasp marks the 20th, yes, the freaking 20th movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I still cannot get over how many hours of my life has been dedicated to this. If you're coming into this blind or missed the first Ant-Man movie, you might be asking, who is this Wasp? Is she a good Wasp or is she a bad Wasp? Good news, we definitely peddle in this kind of information. So fold your wings neatly below you and get comfortable because we're giving you the history of the Wasp. different heroes have donned the name of the Wasp, but the most consistent is former debutante and current entrepreneur Janet Van Dyne. Originally introduced in the ongoing Ant-Man saga, Tales to Astonish, Janet joined the story in June of 1963 as a firecracker who openly flirts with older scientist and super nerd Hank Pym. After swearing revenge on an ill-defined space monster that stole her father's life, Janet pretty quickly jumps into action as the Wasp. Much like Ant-Man, she can shrink down to a tiny size, she flies on insectoid wings, and she can fire these groovy fire energy blasts. Now, Hank is often involved in superheroics out of a sense of obligation, but Janet has a lot of fun with it. Her buoyancy and her levity quickly become trademarks of the character and readers loved her. She became the plucky sidekick of Ant-Man for the rest of his appearances in Tales to Astonish. But time goes on and Hank and Janet eventually meet up with Iron Man, Thor, and the Hulk to battle Loki in Avengers No. 1. In that story, it's suggested that they form a team to battle threats too great for any one of them to handle alone. And it is Janet Van Dyne who more or less says, why don't we call ourselves the Avengers? Yes, the Wasp coined the name of the team we now all love. Now, you can probably guess where this is going between Ant-Man and the Wasp, and it's honestly nowhere great. Their love story is not simple. Janet spends a lot of time trying to gain Hank's approval and Hank pushes her away because he's still getting over his first wife. And then things get kind of dark and Hank begins acting erratically and vanishing on her, suffering from mental illness that will plague him for years. In one of the strangest comics of the famously strange Silver Age, Hank suddenly takes on the new persona of Yellow Jacket, who's a lot like Ant-Man except a jerk. Now, Hank had changed names and powers before. He'd been Ant-Man and Giant-Man and Goliath, but the personality change was new. Determined to give Janet what he felt his previous alter egos couldn't, he immediately proposes. And Janet, who probably should recognize this long series of red flags for what they are, instead keeps the truth from her teammates and allows them to believe she's left Hank for Yellow Jacket. The Avengers are at best uncertain and at worst infuriated that Janet seemingly ditches their friend Hank for someone that appears to be marrying her only for her money. Their wedding day is even interrupted by the Circus of Crime, where Janet is very nearly killed by a python. Yep, Yellow Jacket and the Wasp's wedding is interrupted by a python, only in comics. By the end of it all, however, the couple are married and the Avengers learn Yellow Jacket's true identity is Hank. Problem solved? No! For their honeymoon, Hank and Janet go on reserve status with the Avengers, and it does them absolutely no favors. Their relationship actually goes from tempestuous to abusive. He's under control of Egghead when this happens, but Hank definitely hits Janet in the jaw very hard during an argument. So she immediately leaves and divorces him and goes back to the Avengers, but not after famously beating him in a fight with the line, the only trouble with you is you've only got one trick and I can do it too. Bam! Fist, right in Hank's face. After her divorce, Janet has a short-lived fling with Tony Stark, who avoids telling her his true identity is Iron Man. He's afraid Janet will leave him if she knows. Because she's reasonable, she's not gonna date her ex-husband's teammate. So Iron Man doesn't tell her, until he does. And then she leaves him. Don't worry, they both get over it. It's at this point that Janet Van Dyne goes from being a good character to being a great character. She takes charge of her life, starts working in a lab on her own, and channels her angst into rejoining the Avengers, where she marches into a board meeting and nominates herself leader of the team. Her teammates are thrown by the boss move, but decide, actually, she's a great fit. From there, Janet Van Dyne has one of the longest tenures as the leader of the Avengers, second only to Captain America. She pushes for more female inclusion, and when she ultimately steps down as leader, she passes the torch to Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau. After going on reserve status with the Avengers, Janet focuses on her career, pushing Van Dyne International to Stark Industries level, and she takes on high-profile commissions as a clothing designer. And what do you do when you have all this behind you? You become a wasp-human hybrid. Yes, in the mid-90s, during a whole lot of other Avengers drama, Janet reveals that her close proximity to wasps has transformed her into some kind of wasp woman. This story didn't really go anywhere because Heroes Were Born sort of derailed everything else that was happening in the Avengers at the time, but it's still one of Janet's most bizarre crises. 
A particularly bold and brassy Janet Van Dyne shows up in Rick Remender's Uncanny Adventures. She joins Havoc's team and immediately pushes for merchandising deals. Really. Over time, he warms to her genuine optimism and bold advances, and in an alternate future, Havoc and Janet have a child named Katie, only to be cruelly pulled back into the modern era. Katie is presumed dead or non-existent, and Janet takes weeks off to mourn her. The next time Janet and Havoc encounter each other, it's as enemies in Axis. Every now and then, through Janet's history, writers have reunited her with Henry Pym, and it's always a bad idea. In the Ultimates universe, which exists outside of regular Marvel continuity, Hank graphically abuses Janet on several instances. We'll go ahead and call that the worst possible scenario, or the Mark Miller scenario, but even in the standard Marvel universe, it's been far from a good match. Despite everything, Janet has always shown a great deal of loyalty toward her ex-husband and a great deal of patience and kindness toward other women. All that while popping up at random in stories where someone tries to steal Hank's clothes. For a brief time, a young woman named Rita Damara takes on the mantle of Yellow Jacket after stealing Hank Pym's costume. Janet is forced to take her out, and it's one of the better Wasp stories of the time because it shows her handling an enormously triggering situation with wild aplomb. Later, when Ultron takes Hank Pym's form to fool the Avengers, it's Janet that figures it all out. In All New Wolverine number 5, X-23 tries to steal an Ant-Man suit from Hank's lab, and Janet appears, casually brushing off the escalating tension and agreeing to let her borrow the suit, not steal it. Finally, in The Unstoppable Wasp, Janet shows up to help Hank's daughter, Nadia, come to grips with her life as a superhero. Look, Janet Van Dyne isn't everyone's favorite Avenger, but she's a character that deserves far more props than she gets. Not only does she have an impeccable record of giving it her all, she also displays an unexpected tenderness that many of the other heroes can't match. She doesn't lose sight of her goals, and she sticks to her guns until the bitter end. Janet Van Dyne is and always has been the very definition of an Avenger. Plus, she's being played by Michelle Pfeiffer in the upcoming movie, so everyone can get excited about that. As for the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp movie, you know how Scott Lang, that's Paul Rudd, inherited Ant-Man from Hank Pym or Michael Douglas? It's the same deal, only here Janet Van Dyne is passing along the mantle of the Wasp to her daughter Hope, played by Evangeline Lilly. So, Hank and Janet back together, huh? I mean, Marvel, are you ever gonna learn your lesson? How do we think that's gonna go? You let us know in the comments, or if there's another character you want us to break down the history of.